Hodacious, how's it going, Bob? So today there was a new Rust update that came out and it brought a lot of different changes and a lot of new additions to the game. As you can see before me is the new bridges as it stretches across a body of water. These are pretty cool. I will go over there and show you what it's like to run across one and see it up up close. But first, I am going to show you the newest building tier added to the game. Tier level 5, the armored tier. It looks like Fort Knox. It looks like a bunker. It's so mean looking. It's, oh, it's so rugged. And I'm just going to give you a tour of my crib, my place that I just built just to show off what it looks like on the inside. What I want to show you is that you can now actually upgrade pillars to proper levels. You got wood, stone, sheet metal, and then armored. Bang. And I, I know that one's still twig. I didn't upgrade all these pillars. I just threw it up real quick so I can show you guys what it looks like on the inside. This looks cool. This is, oh, wow. You, I, I feel like it'll take a lot of C4 to get through one of these walls. This, this base is mean looking. Uh, it, uh, yeah, they also added uh, upgradable window bars. So you don't have those flimsy little wooden bars anymore. You can upgrade it to sheet metal and uh, armor you can't upgrade it to stone just yet another thing I want to state is there are other small changes to the game like sounds and one of them is seems like a bug right now these lanterns don't make their whizzing sound or the sound that they normally make and while we're going over changes to the sounds the AK in Thompson has been changed their bullets sound a lot deeper I don't know if I like it yet though as you can see here that is definitely different I'm not sure if I like that. And then we here we go with the Thompson. That sounds different. And then with the shotgun, it sounds like the reload animation. The sound has changed. It sounds more like Legacy. I know it kind of sounded like that before, but it sounds a hint different. And here is another thing that they have added in the newest uh, Rust update: is changing the icon looks, the images. For all the items or at least they're going to eventually so far they, they have a big chunk of them done as you can see here metal fragments uh, some of these I feel like is it's hard to understand what it looks like I, I would never guess that's metal fragments until I actually clicked on it low-grade fuel uh, we got some cloth we got sulfur ore we got metal ore we got stones and some of the stuff still looks the same because they haven't gotten around to uh, changing the icons of it yet like hatchet Th this is a lot more cartoony I don't know if I like that either either but they're going for a unique uh, look for their game and I, I guess this is fairly unique there's some games that have art styles like this already but not as much as keeping it realistic like the bolt action rifle icon on the C4 or any of these I'm just gonna scroll through here real quick so you can see some of the icons these are definitely cartoonier they don't look as realistic um, maybe I'll get used to it. Who knows? And like I said, not all these have been changed already. I actually didn't mean to create that, but you might as well slap it on anyways. So here you guys go. I'm walking across one of the bridges I've seen in the game so far. There's actually a lot of these. They, they spawn over any big body of water or any significantly large body of water. Like I saw one stretching across like a hundred foot pond. It looked very unnecessary, but maybe they haven't tweaked it out yet. And I think these are pretty cool. These are temporary. The textures and even just the, the body of this is temporary. Uh, don't expect it to look like this uh, a month down the road. It'll probably look a lot more beat up. Uh, they'll actually create their own uh, cool looking bridge, add a better texture to it. Expect changes. But I think it's pretty cool how we have it in now and kind of get the feel for it. There's my house way down there. Another cool thing they added to this uh, game to uh, to Rust in the latest update is rivers and more randomly generated rocks. Uh, by the rocks, I mean they're larger rocks. You can't resource, um, you can't gather resources from them. They're larger, just prop rocks, kind of like in Legacy, how there was a, a cluster of rocks, almost like a maze. Like people can hide in them, build bases in them. They're pretty much bringing that back. And it adds more detail to the land, so it's not all flat and not all trees. And this is the only river I've seen so far, or somewhat uh, like a river. It doesn't look very good. It almost just looks like fog. 
but it is a river guys uh, it's not making the proper sounds you know it's still in the works they're still working on it it's just temporary and that's mainly it guys that's the majority of what they've added in the recent update there are some other small differences like how hatches sounds against rocks or other uh, small tweaks but that's the majority of it you know we got a whole new building tier we got bridges going across bodies of water we got rivers we got randomly generated rocks we can hide behind and kind of feels more like legacy you know they're doing a pretty good job. Gary's doing a good job. They're constantly adding new and cool things in each and every week. Um, I'm proud of them. And I, th I think we're going to have some fun. Ooh, someone's just checking out my four over there. I think we're going to have some fun. You know, I, I like this whole new building tier. We'll see how that plays out. We'll see what it's like and if they balanced how C4 damages the different tiers. And, yeah, we'll see. So that's pretty much it guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to have a fantastic day. I know that I will. And I will see you guys later. He's got a spear. Okay. 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 So this is how you survive your first day kids. Alright. You find someone who has more stuff than you. And then you go up to him. And then you smack him over the head with a rock. And we have more technical difficulties. I'll make sure he dies this time. Through 2C4.